What is going on everyone? It's Andy with Andy's on Kieran Outdoor Adventures here. Thank you for coming back for yet another video. As you can tell, we are starting off the new year with a fresh coating of snow. That's right, the wait is finally over. We finally got some snow the other day here in the Chicagoland area. Not as much as I was hoping for. We ended up with about 4 to 5 inches of snow, but it was enough to go ahead and pull out that brand new Craftsman 2 State Snowblower that I bought a few weeks ago. So with that, let's get into the video. It took a little while, that's for sure, but as you can see, we finally got a decent amount of the white stuff that I was able to give this bad boy right here a first run in the snow. If you guys have been watching my channel for a few weeks, you'll know that a few weeks back, I picked up this Craftsman 26-inch two-stage snowblower used on Facebook Marketplace. I'll link that video down below for those of you guys who have not watched it. I recommend you go check it out because I go into how I got this unit and the great deal that I got. But today, we finally got some snow, so let's roll the footage of me using this bad boy for the first time in snow. And that is all the footage I have for you today. We didn't get as much snow as I was hoping for. Like I said, we got between 4 and 5 inches when the forecast was calling for 5 to 9. But it's the first snow, so I figured I had to give this unit a try. Instead of waiting around for a deep snow, which, who knows, this is Chicago, so anything can happen. I used this unit here to clear 8 driveways the other day, so let me do another walk around and kind of talk about my initial impressions of the unit and what I like about it. So with that, do the walk around. So my overall impressions... I really like this unit a lot. The first thing, the 26 inch clearing width. 
definitely saved me quite a bit of time when I was out there the other day, and the nice thing is, with the 26 inch clearing width, only two passes needed to open up a sidewalk. Big bonus, right there. Let's talk about the controls. All the controls are very intuitive, very well laid out, and very easy to use, and very comfortable. The levers here to engage the auger and to engage the drive work very well, they're very comfortable, they're not tiring. My personal favorite feature on this snowblower is this joystick right here, allows you to move the chute side to side and up and down all in one motion. That was probably the most useful feature on this snowblower that I found when I was out there in the field. The self-propelled transmission works flawlessly. I found for the most part I was in gears 3 and 4 when out in the field the other day. That was a good, comfortable pace. Not too fast, not too slow. Got the job done in a timely manner. These 15x5 tires on this snowblower had plenty of traction. No slipping and sliding. Cut through everything very nice with really good grip to the pavement. And my favorite part about this snowblower has got to be the engine. This is a Craftsman 208cc engine and it had plenty of power for the snow that I cleared the other day. This engine had no problem throwing the light fluffy snow well over 30 feet away. No problems with that. The snow plow drift out at the end of the road, it handled that pretty well. There was about a 7 to 8 inch drift from the plows. Cut right through it, didn't bog down at all. Now you can see here the engine has electric start but I just used the recoil start. First freaking pull every single time. And in my personal opinion, the biggest shocker to me was the fuel economy of this snowblower. I cleared about six driveways and I checked the fuel tank and I had only burned maybe like two thirds of a fuel tank of gas, which was surprising. I was expecting this unit to be sucking a lot more gas than it did. In fact, my single stage burns more gas than this 208cc on this Craftsman. So that was my biggest surprise was the fuel economy. And that's great to know because now I know I can comfortably clear four, five, six driveways at least and not even have to worry about running out of gas. Alright everyone, so as you can tell by this video, I am very impressed with this Craftsman Snow Thrower. It was worth every dollar that I spent on it. Again, this was only my first use of it in about 4-5 to five inches of snow. Obviously this video didn't do this unit justice. I feel like we need to get at least 8 or 10 inches of snow to really test out this unit. But, it's all I got, so I figure, let's use it on some snow. Alright everyone, that is going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. So overall, first impressions of this Craftsman Snow Thrower, I absolutely love it. If you come across one of these used and you're on the fence about buying it, it gets my stamp of approval, I would buy it. Now obviously this video, like I said, is not going to do it justice. I'm hopeful that we get another 8 to 10 inch snowstorm here sometime this winter in Chicago. And if we do, I will bust this unit out and make a second video of this thing blasting through some deep snow. But in the meantime, this is all I got, so I figure let's use it and let's make a video. With that, I'm Andy with Andy's Lawn Care and Outdoor Adventures. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.